Make sure you watch to the end. There's a call to action. We need your opinion. I'm not that particular. A little sneak peek. You had a good time. Batteries are dying. Stuff's falling. Need some input, y'all. At the time you're seeing this, it's not in paint yet. I need to make this decision. Let us know. What's up, y'all? Ian here, Half Cut Garage. Welcome back. Seems like we haven't gone anywhere in a couple of weeks. We haven't. Today, we're gonna put a lid on things. Literally. You already know we got a battle lid if you're following us on the Insta or Facebook. Focus for today, how are we gonna make a cover for this puppy? We already know that exhaust sticks up. That exhaust sticks up just under three inches. Important thing to note there. So, I'm thinking I'm gonna build a piece that comes up from this lip here, comes up to this lip here, just comes up straight to the top, same thing from side to side. We'll put some flat bar probably around the bottom corners of it and some, I don't know what it is, like foam, sticky on one side kind of deal. Should seal it up pretty much tight. We're gonna wind up doing a small hood scoop or cowl induction or something like that to get some air into this puppy because uh, we want to seal it off, but we don't want to seal it off. Stay tuned. So I had to start off by figuring out how to get my corner. I strictly marked out, I wanted to have four inches of plane coming up from here. So I marked out four inches, four inches on my flat piece of paper. So I had four and four. And what I did is I measured in increments for my corner over. Half inch, one inch, one and a half, two, half one, one and a half, two. I cut out from the half inch mark to the four inch where the four inch points met. I wasn't happy, it didn't rise up enough. So then I moved to the one inch mark and I cut the one inch mark out. And that's how I wound up here. I like the rise, plenty of rise, works out good. So we set her up here. That gives us the height we need. Then we measured up and over into our point. We knew where the end of our rise was. I got a mark right here. So we measured from here to here, he gave us 17 in the middle. We know that our sides are four. 17 and four and four is 25. So we need our sheet to be 25. We did the same thing for the outsides. I'll show you how I got it laid out. It starts off with this square here. This is that inside point I was talking about. So we're gonna cut the outside line first. Then we're gonna come in and we're gonna, we've already marked here, so I've got my one inch and one inch. I'm gonna draw a line to that point. I'm gonna cut that out, cut that out. Then I'm gonna scribe this line. Break her over. much but a ride on the struggle bus holy smokes I wound up scribing these quite a bit more than I originally planned because of the tips I couldn't just put it in my bender and bend it up like I thought I could and I was gonna cheat with a piece of angle iron just didn't work my hillbilly bender is not fancy that way. GoPro games we're welding the corners 28% we're gonna get cut off again I'll weld the corners and get back to you though batteries we put our hood on top of here Drew out a line, nice straight line. This is a perfectly square, straight piece now. It's a little bit off from the bow, the tiny little bit to the front. I'm not that particular. Peel the plastic off. We're gonna set the other piece down, get some clamps on it, weld around the entire edge. 
and then I'll come back here in the uh, tomorrow and I'll cut out the inside leaving a one inch gap around the edge to seal all the way around the edge. Got our hatch countersunk for the holes. Boy, them nut certs, those are quarter inch nut certs. They're awfully hard to do with them with that hand tool. That's where you should get one of them uh, two hand pump ones instead of the single ones. You want to go quarter inch or bigger, but we got her done. We'll just put a bead of sealant around all this when we put it on. It'll only be taken off when you absolutely have to. So next we'll deal with hinges. Of course, one of the last things to do Let's get the hinges on for the hood. I'm gonna have a clearance issue with this one bolt. Not much I can do. We're going to have to pull the muffler out when we before we do final assembly. And I will heat and beat as they call it. Literally just heat a spot where that bolt's gonna sit there. I'll, I'll rub it out here so I know where it is and then we'll just pound it in, heat it up and pound it in with a hammer so there's enough clearance to get our other one mounted. So this side should be super simple. I left myself room on this side so that you have room to, gra to grease the uh, shaft bearing in there. Otherwise, I was thinking about 
putting the fresh water filter over on this side beside the battery, but uh, instead we got it up front there where should be able to reach it there too. Shouldn't be too inconvenient. tight. Last thing I want to do is put in my hood brace. It's going to go in this neck of the woods here somewhere. How do I mark that? How do I mark that? Somewhere around that neck of the woods, I think. Sophisticated, eh? show you uh, that, we'll show you what we did, we'll show you the hinges. So the trick to these weld on hinges is to make sure they're in line with one another. If you want to make the whatever it is removable, put them in the same direction, nipple in the same direction. If you want it to stay fixed and not come off, put them in the opposite direction. Hood scoop, louvers, something discreet, something indiscreet, something that stands out. At the time you're seeing this, it's not in paint yet. I need to make this decision. Let us know.